Clement. I feel bad doing this to you, but we're gonna we're gonna move up a little bit, buddy boy. Just a little bit. We're not gonna spook him. Just gonna get closer. That's where the magic is gonna be. Right here, man. Just saw one jump to my right. Whoa, whoa! Let's go! We got him! What do we got though? That's the question. Is it the fish we're going for or is it gonna be something else? Whoa, flipped him! Flipped him into the boat! Well, well, well. Early morning Golden Ridge Reserves, everyone. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this place. Just makes you smile looking at America in this way. Well, right on. We are here. We're level three. We turned level three at the end of last episode. Today, we have a lot of challenges. We have a lot of like little missions we can do on the side. And uh, I'm going to kind of continue to do things that I think at this point in the game you should continue doing. You will see that we do have something new available to us, which we'll be showing right after the intro so as you all know pack your tackle boxes hit the like button and let's get into it everyone righto righto okay so basically what we should know is that you can go into your rods now and you can create a lure spinning rig you could also make a jig head spinning ring but you can't really make use of it uh, like you can the lure spinning rig so go ahead lure spinning rig get your rod the maiden get your reel the tyro and get your 4.41 pound line throw that on there we only have one lure that they kind of gave us to uh, progress through the game at this point so that is what we're equipping on there and now hit quick menu you can see right here, the maiden the maiden and also we can hit number two or one to get to our float rod and number two to get to our spinning rod um, and that'll kind of be the way you can switch real uh, you know rods in the future as well but we might as well take advantage of some of these challenges so let's see what we got here diamonds peak map challenge catch a bronze rink uh small mount bass at this location that sounds possible let's go ahead and uh Get that mission there and we're also going to get a few of these bronze fishing challenges down here we kind of have gear to make it possible to catch bronze fish right now so that is going to be important to make sure um we can go ahead get those and we should be good to go but i will say that we also have a uh, tackle academy for taylor's tackle we're going to make use of as well so that's pretty cool and might as well take advantage of this take the golden tour see the sites golden ridge reserve so let's go ahead and grab that as well. There's also some, there's a photo mission. I mean, it doesn't do you anything wrong to just accept everything that's on this board at this point. And then uh, we'll just go off and kind of tick them off one at a time. But I can see that they're going to make me eat my words here because it now wants us to create a, uh, a float rod based off of this rig here. So we're going to go into here. We're actually going to hit float fishing rod and do all of it all over again. So let's put on the maiden, the tyro, put on that 4.4. They want us to use the cigar float for this mission. The only hook we have available is the size 10. And I don't know, we'll just throw on one of them. I'm sure they'll have a switch in the future too. So let's just go off and uh, get to this marked location, shall we? Now, if you're new to the game, like I expect you to be when you're watching these videos, you can maybe see this way over there, 0.9 miles. My God, that is a long way to go. How the heck are we gonna get over there? Well, I'll tell you, we have a boat. We have cars available to us in Call of the Wild, the Angler. We're gonna go ahead. We're just gonna grab one of these boats. And we're gonna go ahead and get into the boat as well. You can also, you can kind of just hop in, honestly. You don't need to press the key. You can just walk straight into the boat, press E to dock it as well. And we're gonna get into the driver's seat and take off. Vroom, vroom. And that will make short work of getting to this uh, location 0.8 miles away now. Now, while you're in the boat for the first time, you might as well take a look around. I mean, look at this place. We got uh, got the steering wheel, obviously. You got chairs for your friends. You can fish with, I believe, three of your friends on this boat. Um, so you can all fish at the same time um, on one boat, which is pretty cool. Um, but there is no fish finder. So you're kind of going to have to just base your, uh, base your fishing off of what you assume to be uh, the depth down below, uh, maybe uh, locations or fish jumping or something like that might be something to pay attention to. Uh, so just, uh, I guess, play it, play it by eyesight, you know, <laughs> and see what you can find to uh, start casting from. Beautiful sunrise on these mountains, though. That's cool. I noticed this buoy on the way over here, so I wanted to see what would happen Out if here, we hit that. We like to do things the manual way. So if you could manually check the other stations while I manually sit here, that'd be swell. 
Well, cool. It gave us 20 XP and it started some sort of challenge with the weather station. So I guess as we make our way around Golden Ridge Reserve, maybe we'll see more of these uh, you know, weather stations about and get more XP from them. So that's good to know. Okay, getting close to the mark location now. So I'm just going to kind of pull up to the land here and hopefully exit the boat. We can just get started fishing, complete this challenge. Cool looking bridge. All right, we got 20 eggs. Nice. Hook sizes. We're going to learn about hook sizes today. I will say that in this game, hook sizes are very important. And you can actually go on to the uh, Call of the Wild, the Angler Discord and get like a whole chart that shows you the hook sizes for different fish. But in the future, I'll also be making videos kind of showing you different hook sizes. So if you want to keep track of it that way, whatever works for you. But that will be in the future. So I guess for now, it might be nice to go to the Call of the Wild Discord check out that uh, page and then you can uh, keep track of what hook sizes for what fish to go after certain sizes of fish um, so it's good good stuff to know so we did just get eggs with this uh with this whole thing so i'm gonna go ahead and put on eggs you know usually it's like when they give you health potions before uh you walk into a room it's usually a sign that there's a boss fight coming or something like that similar to that uh, they give you eggs might be a good uh good opportunity to use those eggs just throw it off the edge here we have another level three coming over here probably to do the same exact mission and i will say i did learn after the last episode you can press f on the pc and uh zoom in i might as well look into the uh the controller uh, button layout or whatever it may be so you can learn how to zoom in on the bobber it's just one of my favorite things to do when you're bobber fishing be able to zoom in and watch it go under such a exhilarating part of bobber fishing so float fishing what have you i think i'm gonna follow my same rules as i would for like fishing planet um if you don't have a bite within like 30 seconds or something like that go ahead and move just toss out somewhere else we'll just have to kind of fish around and see what we can get i'm gonna lower the depth all the way down all the way down here is fairly deep is that a fish right there i think it is swimming around right there looks like a either a really big no that's a bass that's a bass i think i know a bass when i see one whoa i think that bass actually went for it i uh increased my drag to 30. we are slowly getting line in on him oh we can get it from the bridge oh no brought up some sort of thingamabob there we go. Top notch. Oh, wow. A gold smallmouth bass. Now we're talking. Boy, we got it with that small little rod, too. So that's good to know. I mean, if we can handle a gold smallmouth bass on a light little setup like this, when we switch to lures, it should be no trouble, I would hope, anyway. But that's good to know. So let's go ahead. We're going to release this fish. That should complete the mission as well. Now, as part of this uh, little challenge here, we are given a larger hook size to catch a larger fish. So let's go ahead and do that. And I will just add in that when we were trying to hit the space bar there, we hit the C button, which uh, creates this little chat wheel, I guess. And you can't just press C to get rid of it again. You have to actually click close. So that's good to know, I suppose. But we need to equip a size 7 hook now. So we're going to go to rods, go to hook sizes, and equip the size 7. I guess go right back to eggs. I'm not really sure. Well, I guess we'll find out if we see a different fish. Maybe we'll change that up. Now, as a fun additional tip here, uh, you can and call the wild angler. Since we did catch a gold smallmouth bass here, we, we you know we could either try to keep it on our memory. Oh, there's gold smallmouth bass here, or we can go into here, uh, the map here. We just pressed in to bring up our map. You can go click on the map, add a marker. I click on the gold one, I guess, because that's what we caught a gold smallmouth. And then once you have that, you can actually click on the marker again, set a label and hit smallmouth bass. And now we remember, I mean, every time we bring up our map now, we will see, oh, we caught a gold smallmouth bass there. Now, this may be just for the mission that we caught a gold uh, smallmouth here, but it will be nice in the future when we get another challenge for a smallmouth. We will be able to just look at our map, look at all of our little uh, added markers and go, oh, that's where I caught one. So then I can just go right back and catch another. Ooh, I'm seeing fish. Whoa, getting nibbled. Whoa, doesn't feel like a bigger fish. We are just pulling this sucker in. It's a little catfish. No, it's a sturgeon. 
<laughs> How about that? A bronze shovel nose sturgeon. I've actually never caught a sturgeon in real life, so that's pretty cool. That is awesome. I'm supposed to be going sturgeon fishing here in just a little while, though, just in uh, seven days. So uh, make sure if you're not following the MDO, little plug in here, if you're not following the MDO, give it a follow. If you if you do like fishing and outdoor stuff in real life, um, that is kind of our outdoor channel where we do all of our outdoor videos. So they're pretty good. I will say that. People tell me they're pretty professional. I don't know. Just saying, pretty good. Anywho, very cool. We're gonna go ahead and release this fish, but that is a neat little uh, thingamabob there. <laughs> All right, we've learned about gear strength, hook sizes, and how to catch small or large fish. Though not the specifics, but you know, we'll get to that later. But that is gonna bring us to level four, Ron Burgundy style, love it. Top notch, let's go ahead. Oh, they're giving us a challenge now. We can actually uh, catch, catch five fish, okay? I suppose we could do that. Now, something I haven't showed off, but it might be really important because you might be seeing fish jumping out here and thinking, how do I go after that fish? But you, uh, you know, you see what it is. You might say, oh, wow, that was, that was, uh, that was a pike right there. How the heck would I catch that pike? Well, bring up your handbook. I hit H there uh, to bring up my handbook. on down to Silver Strand Meadows to catch me there. Don't let the warden interrupt you. And then you can just pretty much look at all the fish species here. So if we saw a pike jump, we can click on northern pike. Um, we can see bait and lure preference, swim bait, jerk bait, spinner bait. However, there are more. We can hit tab and then we can see these are all the habitats that it goes, uh, likes to be fish, uh, you know, swimming in. And then bait and lure preference. We got swim bait, jerk bait, spinner bait, shad, minnow, spoon, grub, bobber, frog, crankbait, spinner. Lots of different options to go out there in Northern Pike, and they have this for all of the fish. So uh, we are fishing with uh, with bait right now, so we might as well throw on us uh, like a minnow because we have been seeing uh, pike swimming around out here. Now we can throw out this minnow, and hopefully, if we can find that uh, Northern Pike again, we can add that to one of our uh, five fish that we need to catch. Ooh, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. That looks like pike to me. He's pulling out line too. Look at him go. Put a little pump here, trying to reel in some line. If he continues to be a pain like this, as I suspect he might, we can play with the drag a little bit, but we'll have to watch the drag a little bit more. Make sure we aren't gonna break the line, but you can see just with that increase of the drag there, we did get a little bit more room on him and he's gonna tucker out that much faster too though it is always possible that we catch fish that is you know larger than we want and that's where that cut line will come into play so i'd say if you're fighting a fish uh at this level and it's it's taking you more than a few minutes to get in you know five minutes later you're still fighting this thing just go ahead and cut the line it's not worth it there, you could be f fighting that fish for 10 minutes and still not catch it so just uh save yourself all the hassle and annoyance. We are getting close to being able to bring this guy in. Oh, let's go, little bronze northern pike. And that is what we saw out there jumping along. So we made use of the handbook. We put on a bait that we knew we could catch it with, and then we cast it out and caught the sucker. So very nice. That is just putting it all together, right? That's awesome. Getting that score. Getting that score. The fly fishing part of me is like being very selective about where I cast out. <laughs> Just trying, trying to decide where to cast based off of where I'm seeing fish. Whoa! Boy, that was so sudden. I didn't even get a get a chance to like zoom in and see what the heck we're fighting. So it went after the minnow there. Still pretty good fight on him. Ooh. I wish we could look down further. A pretty decent view. What the heck is it? Another pike, maybe? Getting close to being able to lift him up. And we're kind of pulling him in, despite him uh, trying to pull us. Oh, about had him. Dirty dog. There we go. Trying to get that secure catch to come back up again. Boy, this is like the same exact fish we just caught. Well, top notch, got the 47 credits, got the 1,262 score. Must have been smaller than the last one because we got less score than the last one, I believe. But uh, you can also see that we're uh, we're getting uh, some like skill with these uh, rods and, and reels and whatnot at the same time, which is kind of cool to see. Press toggle, toggle the UI if you want to see your fish a little bit better. Very nice. Call the wild Hino looks happy. Cool to see people driving boats in the background. <laughs> That's neat. All right, go ahead and release this guy. Three more fish to go. 
Ooh, gonna keep keep using the old the the old hub tactics here. Bring up the handbook. We just saw a shovel nose sturgeon swim off, so we're gonna look up red worm cheese and eggs. Okay, top notch. The old hub, hub tactics. tactics taking a regular part of the game and giving it a name. Hub interest. Tactics. We got interest. That is a shovel nose right there. If I've ever seen one. Ooh, easy to reel in this guy. Nice, dude. So cool. Thousand four, thousand four. You know, you have to fight the pike for like, you know, 30 seconds or whatever, or a minute maybe, and you only get 200 more score. Not too bad, not too bad, I suppose. Just over here seeing so many pike jumping. I'm just gonna mark that so I know. So we got another bite. Can't see what it is. Oh, it is another shovel nose though. Cool. I am liking these shovel nose. These are nice. Oh, there's another shovel nose right below us too. <laughs> Looks like a little shark down there. That's so cool. Bronze, bronzy, smaller than the last one. But that will work. Whoa! I was uh, setting setting a marker on my map when we got this bite. It's so cool that you can uh, fish and set markers on your map at the same time, just to pass the time. So this one looks a little bit bigger, I'd say. He's uh, he's putting up a fight. I mean, we are making quick work of him, but he is bigger than the last ones we catch him. Oh, hey, different camera view. Look at that. 4.72 pounds larger than the drag we on on our uh, reel, but we made quick work of him. Top notch, everybody. Loving it. I'm like McDonald's over here. Freaking loving it, bro. Well, cool. I wish we would have a better camera view. That way we could uh, get this uh, UI out of the way and keep this angle. But uh, that is cool. Let's go ahead and release this guy. 2200 score. That is awesome. I'm just gonna go into my little shovel nose sturgeon thing here. <laughs> you can't edit a marker, unfortunately, but I am gonna add a new marker, change it to uh, change it to shovel nose. And top knot, we are set. I just saw another one out there. Let's see if he turns around for it. Ooh, we are. I'm telling you, quick work of this uh, challenge. I think we already completed it, but we're still catching fish. <laughs> there are so many shovel nose around here. That was a small one, but cool. We definitely completed the challenge though. So uh, we can actually go back to the challenge board or we could go ahead and look at our challenges and just select a new one. So we got this challenge here we can track. See where we're gonna go. <laughs> didn't didn't uh, foresee dropping that down and seeing that guy standing there. <laughs> so this is this location down here. This is okay. That's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and just select these other ones so I can see uh, which we're closest to at the moment. Okay, so this one over here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that one because I know that the uh, the third one we're doing is at this little lake over here. So uh, let's go grab this one real quick and then we'll uh, zoom off to those other channels. Just have to remember which boat is mine. This my boat. Oh no, <laughs> I don't think this is my boat. I think that's why it only allowed me to get in the passenger seat. <laughs> Surely this is my boat. There we go, driver's seat. <laughs> we about committed grand theft, uh, b boat, boat uh, theft or something like that. Ooh, this location be looking snaggy. Clement Godin over here is catching fish, I think. We'll try right next to him, we'll jo join up. You and me, Clement. We're teaming up on this one. All right, let's go. Not not back in the boat, you stupid. Biggest cast of my entire career. Let's catch us bass. I will say, pay attention to all of your settings because they like to reset when you either sprint or uh, give it into your boat again. There was a fish that just jumped. Okay, okay, Clement. We know where they are now, buddy boy. They can't escape us now. They can't escape us now. Clement, I feel bad doing this to you, but we're gonna we're gonna move up a little bit, buddy boy. Just a little bit. We're not gonna spook them. We're just gonna get closer. Right on the edge where I'm thinking. Right here. That's where the magic is gonna be. Right here, man. Just saw one jump to my right. Whoa, whoa! Let's go! We got him! What do we got though? That's the question. Is it the fish we're going for or is it gonna be something else? Whoa, we flipped him, flipped him into the boat. <gasps> nice, little 15 score, 15 score. But we beat the challenge. So take that, Sophia Taylor. And we got some reputation points, which I'm sure we'll explain at some point in this beginner series. Well, cool, I'm gonna go ahead and mark this location, add a marker, oop. 
So at a label, smallmouth bass. Now we know where they are, but for now, we're gonna get back in our boat and we're gonna travel to another area. Hi ho, Boto, and away! All right, so I went ahead and just uh, activated my next uh, challenge here, which is to catch a bronzer and crappie. However, you can see on the map, it is way down here, and we could go by boat all the way down here if we want to, or we can just click this little app post, fast travel, bing bada boom we're uh we're already here and then we can just run over there if we want to or or we can run over to this little car icon if sophia taylor won't freaking talk over me oh, dang it sophia ooh, ooh xp xp baby all right get into our uh jeep whichever one looks closest to the jurassic park jeep is usually the one i choose right oh change the camera if you want to but this one gives me motion sickness so we are not going to use that one and boom we're here <laughs> that, that was worth getting a car for Alrighty, we're on the search for a bronze rank crappie here, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the H for handbook, look at the uh, crappie. I hovered over it and it was showing a largemouth bass. I was very confused for a second. Minnow grub tuba. And hit this minnow grub tube, blood worm, marshmallow, red worm. Uh, so we can use all sorts of stuff, honestly. But I'm gonna go ahead and add in a blood worm, probably. I do believe I have one of those. We do, top notch. So let's grab that rod and uh, see if we can catch ourselves a crappie here. Oh, I saw a pike swimming. That's why I didn't throw on a minnow. Ooh, we got some interest. Oh, I think it is a crappie. I think, I think, I think. Either that or a perch. Let's go! Bronze crappie, baby! Let's go. It's so funny to go from fish that were like 1,200 score to this little 15 score crappie. <laughs> but I'll take it. So I think the last one we got, besides this photo challenge, is to catch a bronze rank smallmouth bass at this map location. We're going to go ahead and track that mission, drive this car over to the boat dock so we can drive, sail, whatever. What up, salty squirrel, homeboy? Let's just slice that. And drive it over to the island. Now with this challenge, it's interesting they're not giving us a marker for the location. However, it showed us on the map. I guess I don't understand why that's harder. <laughs> Whatever. I spy with my little eye another little weather station. Now you're a quarter through them floaters. That tech sure is something now. It sure is, isn't it, Warden? All of these names are so interesting. Percent Tundra. How does someone come up with that name? Is that a reference to something? I avoided the dock and went straight to the land, so let's do it. Flying Wolf, 11400. Of course. This is a nice little spot. <gasps> and we found a plant. Ooh. Unmistakable color. That's a purple loose drive if ever I saw. These plants have me on my last nerve, bugger. Do they? Because there's a bazillion over there. Okay, top notch. Let's go ahead. Fish right next to Flying Wolf here. Whoa, let's go. Hooked up, hooked up. Making quick work of him, he must not be very big. I see you down there. Very nice, very nice. Well, top notch, let's go ahead. Release this fish to complete the challenge. Boom, just like that. Now, if we go ahead and look at our journal here, go to our uh, challenges, you can see we have all three of them completed. And I think if we go back to the starting outpost, it should be able to let us turn them all in. Let's find out. To the board, to the board. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. There's a little treble hook there. I don't think I've seen a treble hook for like bait and stuff. Interesting. Oh, we have silver fishing challenges now. Ooh. Okay, okay. There, very cool, very cool. And our inventory is filling up. Look at all this stuff we have now that we're just getting from completing these missions and whatnot. Nice. Well, top notch. I guess when you see these uh, other things here on the board, you know that's gonna be probably the next episode, everybody, because I'm really looking forward to continuing on here, uh, Call of the Wild, the Angler. I will say one last little thing before we take off here and before we take off There's and do this last the thing. Way you walk. You wanna buy some baits? I can tell. Sophia, try being quiet. I want you to be a listener instead of someone who just chats all the time. Anywho, like I was saying, why don't you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already before we get into this last tip here. I did want to show off. You can talk to, uh, to Sophia Taylor 
You got the storage here where you can keep uh, some of your uh, rods and reels and stuff like that. Whoa. So you have your storage there. Um, we can buy some stuff. What I wanted to show you was lo uh, local souvenirs. Now you can see we have reputation points. This I think is from doing part of the missions and whatnot. Uh, maybe from catching very large fish as well. But as part of catching large fish, you will see these little trophy icons here. You got the gold, you got the diamond, you got the big epic monster fish. If you look down at these souvenirs, different paint jobs, different, uh, you know, clothing that you can wear, you know, you would need 40 gold tokens, uh, four diamond tokens, and five legendary tokens, as well as 10,000 uh, gold coins and 1,000 reputation to purchase this little, uh, you know, uh, sweater, a little cryptid sweater, Bigfoot, whatnot. Pretty cool little thing there, but just wanted to let you guys know that while you're doing all these missions and catching these larger fish and stuff like that, like all of this does matter. You are collecting some of this stuff um, so that you can maybe come in here and uh, purchase some of this stuff to show off to your fellow angler. You know, come up looking like a game warden or something like that <laughs> would be interesting as well as showing up looking like Sasquatch would be very interesting. So very cool. I would like to see a Sasquatch Jeep though. I'm not sure what it could be, but uh, would would be interesting. <laughs> maybe you can have some horns or antlers on it or something like that. That would be cool. Anywho, I think that is a good place to end here. Sophia's probably going to talk now that I'm running away. You don't want to buy more or anything? Yeah. I knew that was coming, Sophia. Anywho, that's going to wrap this up. Like button, subscribe. If you want to join us on our live streams every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, make sure you do so. I'd love to see more people showing up, asking for Call of the Wild, the angler. We'll come out here, uh, do some fishing. Should be fun, and as we get through these uh, you know, uh, videos and whatnot, and we get more locations that we're fishing, those videos, uh, live streams, will be more fun to do as well. Comment down below what your favorite candy bar is how about that got halloween coming up here soon but uh we'll see how many people comment that down below i bet 99 percent of people didn't make it this far in a video but i would like to see it down below anyway take care we'll see you next time and as always remember everyone hey you so you say you like fishing and hunting in the outdoors but you're not following the modern day outdoorsman <sighs> you know it's cool right i mean i don't want to pressure you into doing anything but uh give it a shot and i'll make you a deal you subscribe and i'll let you watch the videos for free and that's a great price plus we have cool shirts so follow the mdo today we're one planet one family game on